But now Ms McLarnan <laughs> is, is here with us. Um, and I think I should just take a back seat, because clearly, winner of MasterChef, Top Chef, shall I just, shall I just have a rest today? Why not, yeah. Yeah, out. I'll just eat the dessert, shall I? <laughs> okay, okay. What are you, what are you cooking? We've got a rhubarb and ginger nut full. Um, a, good, a good classic, very, very simple to do as well. Your I specialty, just... what was it, dessert? Main course? Um, I did do it. I did a winter full, actually, so not, okay. not, not very different. All right, nice. Well, let's go through the ingredients quickly. You can change the certain elements of this with mm. raspberries and cherries and stuff this time mm. of year. Rhubarb still available, and um, you can get it from Europe as well that comes across, so if you see it in supermarkets. So we've got rhubarb, we've got a touch of white wine, apricot jam, I'll explain why. It's a kind of a cheat to do a really quick syrup. Some vanilla, fresh vanilla pod, touch of sugar, only to taste, because obviously there's jam and stuff going mm. on, you don't want it too sickly. This at the back here is uh, what we call creme patissier, but or baker's custard. I'll explain why as well. And is that shop-bought, or is it, did you make that? Um, this particular one I've made. Right. Um, but you can just buy a thick custard. It's exactly the same, basically. If you don't want to make it, buy a thick custard. <laughs> OK. And then we've got some cream, whipping cream, and some ginger nut biscuits as well. So first things first, I need this cream half whipped, just half whipped, and some biscuits bashed up, please. That'd be great. Well, I'm going to... Should I do the bashing? You yeah, yeah, cool. OK, right, well, now I'm going to start chopping up this rhubarb. OK, and we're just going to cut it into battens. OK, now, I've got a pan on over on the stovetop. I'm using wine, like I said before, you know, don't freak out if you're thinking about doing a full for the kids because the alcohol cooks out. If you boil alcohol, you lose the alcohol content anyway, all right? So, um, you know, if not, use water if you're really cautious about it. Anyway, pan on the stovetop, straight in with some rhubarb. And then, I'm obviously using wine today. Put a splash of wine. And the idea is we're going to... Simmer this up, create a syrup. So, I've got a bit of apricot jam, and this is where it really helps me get the consistent syrup consistency quickly, basically. So that's easier than using or making a syrup, then? I well, I mean, this is like a glorified stock syrup, but this is just a quicker version of doing it. Right. Yeah. But it just, it just gives it a bit more flavour, a bit more of a, uh, a syrupy uh, consistency quickly. <laughs> Did you just splatter yourself? You've got to be She's careful, a girl. Bit to prove that she is. Okay, that's uh, you can calm it down now. I'm really enjoying right? this. <laughs> <It's therapy. laughs> can I just have a little? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right now we've got um, we've got fresh vanilla. Okay. Um, I use I tend to use a lot of Madagascan vanilla because it's um, very thick and plump. And obviously vanilla pods, you know, let's let's be honest, you buy them at one pound twenty five each. You can reuse them and stuff like that, you know. So it's not you just can a, reuse yeah, them. yeah, definitely. You can dry yeah. them out, put know. them into vanilla sugar, or even boil them up in a custard mixture or whatever, you know. That sounds like a lot of work. So it's nice, no, simple. It's very, very simple, honestly. Um, and this is foolproof. <laughs> How are you doing? Come on, you're a master chef winner. You can whip some cream. <laughs> That was you, there you go. Well, I was asking you before, Liz, um, has it changed the way you eat as well as the way you cook? Yeah, I'm a bit more of a snob. <laughs> You're a food snob now. Yeah, I go to a restaurant and go, mmm, yeah, sorry. Right. You could have done a bit more with that, you could have added yeah. this. No, I don't. I just, I like, I like a lot more things, I think, now. Right. Yeah. Which is good. OK, right, right, now, over here, we've got the uh, creme patissier. As I said before, baker's custard. Yes, go to the supermarket, buy thick, quality custard. It'll work just as well. However, if you want to make my recipe for creme patissier, it is on the website, OK? Great. So okay. I'll put it all up on the website and you can make it at home. Very simple. Now, I've got two, around about two <laughs> parts thick custard or creme pat to um, our soft whipped cream, OK, which I just <laughs> give it, help it along a little bit now. <laughs> OK, it's almost there. You're so close to it. It's, it's cool. I'm, not, I'm not very strong. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Now, so around about two to one, as I said before. So that's looking about, that's looking about right to me. Now, all we want to do is we just want to basically just about fold the two together, OK? And literally, don't, you don't want to do it so you overwhip it. So you literally just drop it through the whisk, OK? And it creates a wonderful thick gloss. I'm even going to go with a tad more cream in mm. there, OK? So where's the toffee now, Liz? Where's your master chef toffee? Is it, is it mantelpiece? Don't, are you giving, are you giving it to your mum? No. No, am I? No. Where is it I then? did all the hard work. It's on my mantelpiece, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. There's McClarnon, you know. Okay. <laughs> OK, so now that uh, these are simmered together, you see the black flecks through here. This is the lovely fresh vanilla seeds. Yeah. The wine's bubbled up, the rhubarb's just gone soft. Take it off and then just leave it to cool in the heat of the pan. You don't want a puree. You don't want a, um, a rhubarb, excuse me, puree. You just want it so it's just soft, so it's got a little bit of bite left in mm. it. That's the idea. Now, uh, serving glasses, anything. A, 
a plastic beaker at home, a, a wine glass, a, a wide brim neck glass, whatever, OK? Now, here, we've obviously got some that's cool. If you put it in hot, basically, it melts the cream and it just turns to milkshake, basically. Yeah. Right now, so dig down Rhubarb and milk. really get... Rhubarb a milkshake? A doesn't good bit really... of fruit. No, it doesn't sound doesn't like Doesn't float your boat, that one, no. does it? No. And a tiny bit of the syrup. OK? Mm. And then it's just simple as... Can we get the ginger nuts over? But actually, oh. I'll tell you what... Can right, I have another bash? Can you just do a little sprinkle of ginger nuts over the top? That'd be wonderful, thank you. All these biscuits, just for a sprinkle? Yeah, well, you know, I like to do things in big portions. So, um, <laughs> yeah. OK. And again, that's great. Brilliant. Nice one. OK, now, so as we can see here, these two are just mixed together, OK? Ooh. And you just want it so it's dropping consistency, OK? And the idea is, you know, you don't have to be too, you know, prissy with it or anything mm -hmm. like that. Literally, just create a seal all the way around the edge, and then we're just going to repeat the process and build it up. So, same principle again. Dig down, not too much of the syrup, not too wet, a good stack of the old fruit, a little, a little more drizzling, and then um, ginger so nut lady. Quite easy. OK, and then we're just going to top it off now with one final bit. OK? And then we're just going to use some of the syrup... And it's just simply a case of, uh, that's it. It's, it's nothing, you know, it's not rocket science. It's so nice simple. Now, it? if you want to use raspberries, as I said before, cherries at the moment, this next, um, Cherry, I love cherries. next two weeks, mm. are just starting to be harvested and they're very good at the moment. Um, and then, again, a tiny bit of syrup. And you don't, you know, you don't have to do this at all, but, you know, why not finish it off a little mint sprig or, or even rip some mint leaves over the top and then as you eat down through the different layers, you get a little mint kick. Lovely. And literally, you, 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 don't even have to, you don't even have to pick it, you know, just rip it up. It's so simple. And there you have it, a That's really it. simple family dessert. Okay. <laughs> We're coming over as well to have a oh, try. Tastes, go on, Liz. No, I actually did this and, and used a really thin glass and broke the glass and, and ruined the dessert, so... Oh. Big, thick, a bit of a thick glass Definitely, as well, Definitely, yeah, a wide, a wide rimmed thick glass, yeah. Oh, Deborah, goodness. do you want to have a try of this as well? Uh, all of today's recipes are available on the BBC website, bbc.co.uk forward slash food, or you can text weekend to 8, 10, 10, and we'll send um, them to you. Ooh. Good? Mm, lovely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 nice. All right. Awesome. Cool. Uh, coming up, uh, uh, a Mexican brunch for people wanting a lazy Sunday. Uh, but now a uh, deja vu and a gem.